As years of development passed, the immense scope of this project came into clear focus. A natural question arose, where would we record it? When we were doing the production of Jonah, we used parts of Southern California, and we thought that would be a very good location. So that was proposed to the governing body, and they said, thank you very much, but we would rather that you use existing Bethel facilities that would be available and that maybe is not being utilized to its full potential. So we worked with uh, Worldwide Design Construction and they provided a list of some of the branches that had space. And as we were doing so, it came to our attention that in Australasia, uh, the printery was about to be phased out. At the end of 2015, the printing work was moved to Japan. The press was then put up for sale. It sold about three years later. So now we had this big warehouse space, just what we needed for a studio. We just were stunned to think that such a project could be accomplished here. But I think we've also seen so many evidences of Jehovah's blessing on this project that it's very clear it's something he wants. The temporary accommodation here at the branch was due for demolition. And I mean, like the bulldozers were almost at the gate. So we were able to stop those bulldozers and as a result, we're currently renovating those residents. Jehovah's Hand was definitely in that experience. Without the stopping of that demolition, uh, we wouldn't have had enough accommodation to look after this project. It was as if Jehovah was dropping this option in our laps with all the criteria that we needed to do this project. So we've just been watching part of a promotional video discussing the new live action Messiah series that's in store for Jehovah's Witnesses titled The Good News According to Jesus. They've just been explaining here that they were initially thinking of doing the filming in Southern California like they did for the Jonah drama and instead they made the decision to film in Australia. That's it. That's the information they need to get across or they feel they need to get across. But of course, they can't just say that without invoking Jehovah's hand, without claiming that Jehovah was in some way responsible for this decision. The governing body said, no, actually, we'd like you to film this where there are branch facilities that are being underutilized. They realized that the branch facilities in Sydney, they had some space there. And so they chose to film in Sydney. What's the big deal? Apparently the fact that they made this decision late, so late that the bulldozers were at the gates, <laughs> we're supposed to imagine some Bethelite flinging themselves at the bulldozer saying, stop, the governing body don't want this to happen. <laughs> Maybe at some point that will be a dramatization that we'll see on JW Broadcasting. But seriously, how is any of this relevant? How is any of this evidence of Jehovah's hand? They use this phrase to explain almost anything, no matter how inconsequential, no matter how mundane. They can't just say, coincidentally, we had this space available, so we're going to use it. They have to suggest that Jehovah was responsible despite all the suffering despite over 8,000 apparently Jehovah's Witnesses so far dying due to the coronavirus, 2 million plus worldwide dying from this pandemic alone, not to mention all of the injustice and barbarity that's going on in the world, children dying in the millions, and Jehovah's priority apparently is where a series about Jesus gets filmed. That's what he is most interested in, making sure that some bulldozers get stopped so that a printery can be converted into a studio for filming a series about Jesus. That's God's priority. I don't want to worship that kind of God. I don't. I have no respect for any kind of deity 
any kind of entity, supernatural or otherwise, who prioritizes where to build a studio over saving lives. But I had to also just mention that we saw there fleetingly Terence O'Brien talking about this miraculous intervention of Jehovah in making sure the filming took place at his branch, at the Australasia branch. He is, after all, the coordinator of the Australasia branch. I've met him. So here is some brief footage of both myself and Mark O'Donnell, my colleague at JW Watch. We actually shook hands with him as we were taking our own tour around the facilities. It's a long story, but essentially we were over there to do some filming for the Truth About the Truth documentary, which is now in post-production. And we were especially interested to get some footage of Terence O'Brien. He was just walking through at that particular moment, and we thought we've got to get him on camera. I think Mark briefly mentioned the Australian Royal Commission, because that's essentially why we were over there, to do some filming in the wake of the Australian Royal Commission. Terence O'Brien appeared as a witness before the Australian Royal Commission and just gave atrocious evidence, exposing fully the dishonesty and the indifference of the organization's leadership when it comes to their monumental failure to protect children and their gross mishandling of child safeguarding issues. We were especially interested to have some footage, if possible. We knew we weren't going to get an interview, but if we could at least get some footage of Terence O'Brien, that would be great. We managed to blag ourselves a Bethel tour, and he just happened to be walking along the corridors. Maybe that was Jehovah's hand as well. Maybe, because that's how trivial these things are. Apparently, the more inconsequential and mundane, the better. If things work out in your favour and it was unlikely that it would happen, it must be Jehovah's hand. So, Terence, thank you for shaking our hand and appearing in our documentary. Jehovah's hand or not, you need to be held responsible for your failure to protect children. So one of the biggest needs we probably have at the moment would be auditioning. We absolutely need more volunteers for acting. It's a unique and new form of sacred service. It's something that probably most never thought they would ever do or be asked to do, but there is definitely a need. The more that can make themselves available through this auditioning process allows us to have the right people in the roles. One fundamental principle that underlies kind of any good acting is empathy. It's something that we all learn as Christians. It's not about showing the behavior in in big ways. It's about understanding who the character is, and then it kind of exudes naturally. Jehovah's organization will always train us, and Jehovah's Spirit will make us uh, ready for the task that's ahead of us. It's simple training, but it's definitely designed to help somebody get comfortable in front of a camera, performing in front of many people, and being able to relax, being able to be themselves. To see our brothers and sisters offering themselves, putting themselves out in this way, is, is wonderful. I found this very interesting. So yes, apparently acting, or at least auditioning for acting, this is a new form of sacred service that Jehovah's Witnesses can reach out for. I'm assuming specifically Jehovah's Witnesses in Australia where this super duper live action Messiah series will be filmed. I found it interesting where the chap said that empathy is a desirable quality. He says, One fundamental principle that underlies kind of any good acting is empathy. It's something that we all learn as Christians. Hmm, not really my experience when it comes to the Jehovah's Witness version of Christianity. Not much empathy there, I'm afraid especially when it comes to shunning the way families are ripped apart if someone stops believing or if someone doesn't meet the expectations of the organization. I don't see much empathy in the way 
people are treated in those situations. Neither do I see empathy in the way abuse survivors are being let down through their abuse, their ordeals being covered up by the organization, effectively putting the organization's needs ahead of the abuse survivor's needs. No, I'm sorry, empathy. You can use a lot of words to describe all of that, but empathy is not one of them. But isn't it interesting that they are apparently very keen on auditioning Jehovah's Witnesses. The problem they have is that this hasn't exactly worked wonderfully for them so far, has it? I mean, the standard of acting in Jehovah's Witness propaganda is at best varying. I'm thinking of the Jade and Nita dramatizations as being a rare example of actually quite good acting, but most of the time the acting quality isn't really up to much, and it certainly isn't going to be up to much if they take on board this advice. He says, It's simple training, but it's definitely designed to help somebody get comfortable in front of a camera performing in front of many people and being able to relax, being able to be themselves. Surely the whole point of acting is that you're not yourself. You are your character. <laughs> no wonder they're getting such terrible actors if that's what they're telling people in these acting classes. Don't worry about being in character. Don't worry about what sort of personality your character is supposed to have. You just relax and be yourself and it'll all be okay. Will there be challenges? Oh yeah, guaranteed. But if Jehovah wants something done, that's what happens. We have things at the right time and that's what we've done. We've advanced now to where we're able to do it in such a wonderful way for the whole world. We are working with the best words that have ever been spoken on this planet words that have power and meaning. This is such a huge endeavor, and yet Jehovah has shown us his direction all along. It needs to be done. With this project being blessed by Jehovah, that's what's going to happen. The genuine good news according to Jesus, that's what we're going to have. It's clear that Jehovah is blessing this tremendous undertaking. The good news according to Jesus will help all of us to teach the truth about Jesus, and it will help us to deepen our own appreciation for his loving sacrifice in behalf of all mankind. Jesus said, as recorded at John 14, 13, and 14, whatever you ask in my name, I will do this so that the Father may be glorified in connection with the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Thus, our sincere prayer is that this multi-year project will be a grand success and will result in the salvation of many more true disciples to the praise of Jehovah's great name. Thank you all for your continued prayers and support. Thank you for encouraging yet others to support this project with their prayers, talents, time, and assets. Thank you to our dear brothers and sisters in Australasia as well for your willing spirit. So it's not just apparently about Jehovah's Witnesses supporting this project <laughs> or project with their assets, along with their prayers and talents, they also need to encourage others to support this project with their prayers, talents, time, and assets. Yeah, I'm thinking especially the latter, especially the assets. Jehovah's Witnesses are apparently supposed to watch this and then not just donate to make this live-action Messiah drama series, A Reality, they're also supposed to coerce their fellow worshippers, people in their congregation. Oh, have you, uh, have you been supporting the good news according to Jesus with your 
prayers, talents, time and assets, because I have. <laughs> Seriously, though, the tragedy of all this is priorities. Where are the priorities of the governing body? Tony Morris says, If Jehovah wants something done, that's what happens. Why doesn't Jehovah want the organization to be free from child abuse mishandling? Why is Jehovah so indifferent when it comes to the basic protection of children? Why is Jehovah okay with keeping a secret database of predators? Why doesn't Jehovah want that to get sorted out? Why is Jehovah instead interested in propaganda, which is all this is? Apparently, Jehovah is obsessed. I mean, if you follow not just the annual meeting videos, but the JW broadcasting episodes, the torrent of videos that get put out by this organization in the JW broadcasting era, it's all about video production. What videos are we making? Here's a storyboard of this fantastic new drama that we're working on. Please get behind it with your donations. Videos, buildings, please help us build things. Jehovah needs real estate. Jehovah needs us to expand our real estate portfolio. We absolutely must have more buildings. Please help us build things. What else is there? That's all Jehovah is apparently interested in. Even new publications, the printing work's gone down. The magazines are now wafer thin compared to how thick they were. There's less spiritual food being printed and instead an avalanche of this tedious, stultifying, manipulative nonsense which is, in this case, just about producing more of it. Please help us make more propaganda. Please help us keep you indoctrinated through manipulative, coercive video material that we're convinced you need. <laughs>